Alright, here's the next part of the tutorial. How to make a platform game extended. Now what we're going to have to do for this is this is going to be the rules, so make rules. So for this I'm just going to grab a character ground we're not going to need any um, actions for this because it's going to be rules and you don't even need to make any of these a symbol or anything so I'm gonna have that there and then I'm going to go to the brush tool have an arrow that's a bad looking arrow pointing that way that way and that way and then you know right up arrow key right arrow key left arrow key I'm not going to write it down just to save time and then right over here like your goal or like go to and then what we're gonna end up going to is we're gonna call it a portal and then over here right avoid and what we're going to end up avoiding is an enemy that's going to look like that. Here's uh, here's what the instructions would look like. Back, goal, get to the next portal. Up arrow key, left arrow key, right arrow key. Avoid enemies. Alright, I'm just not going to do it in the tutorial just to save time. So that's what that'll look like. And now go back to this layer. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a portal a portal just make something that looks like that so you know go to oval tool make your stroke around two and the fill I just did the blue gradient and I literally went like that highlight it right click convert symbol make sure it's on movie clip and make sure the registration is in the middle alright and once you make one of those make another one around the same size but don't make it a symbol just make one and then put it right about there and make sure your character is at the top so if we go to control test movie test it looks like that it looks like it came out of that portal now we gotta go to that portal now you're going to hit F6 two more times so you made two more uh, frames you're gonna go to this frame which should be frame 4 and click backspace and then go to this frame and just delete the ground. Don't delete the character, don't delete the restart box, and don't delete the portal. And also don't delete the fake portal over there. Um, and you'll see why. So now that we're back at this, back at layer 3, which is level 1, we want to go to actions for the portal, and go in the description and get where it says, uh, it says finish box here, but it'll say portal where it should say on clip event enter frame if this hit test root char get that and paste it into there and then in between these uh, two parentheses you're going to have to write five because that means it's going to go to frame five whenever the character hits it so now if we go to frame five now make another ground so make another level so here's going to be my next level once again really basic and then once you make that level you're gonna have to make it a symbol make sure it's movie clip registration on top just like the last time and you're also gonna have to rename the instant name ground and then once you do that if we go to test movie click play here's level one and then here's level two all right. So once we have that, before we, uh, well, you might as well put in the actions for that. And this is going to end up being frame seven. So put seven in for that. And then before we go on, we're going to add an enemy. To add an enemy, make an enemy, 
movie clip. Uh, the well, whenever you convert it to a symbol, make sure it's under movie clip, and make sure the registration is in the middle. And I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to double click on it, and what you're going to end up doing is you should have this, where it's just one frame. You're going to go to about 30 frames, right click, and then click insert keyframe. Then go to 60 frames, right click, insert keyframe. Go back to 30 frames over here. Move the enemy up. I'm going to move it about there. And then right click around where it says 15 frames. And then click on create classic tween. Then right click where it says about 45 frames. And click create classic tween. So now we have an enemy that's going to be moving. So double click over here in like the white space to click out of that. And what we're going to have to do now to make the enemy so it kills us, we're going to have to copy the actions for the restart box. Click on the enemy, right click on it, go to actions, and then paste the actions into that. So if we test the movie, here's the enemy. If I hit it, I die and I restart. So now that we have that, hit F6 two more times so you make two new frames. Delete the sixth frame, go to the seventh frame, re delete the ground and delete the enemy, and make your third level. So this is going to be my third level. So here's my third level. You're going to have to click on it, go to properties. Type in ground again for it once you make it a movie clip and everything. I'm going to put the portal right up there. Right click on the actions for the portal. Change it from 7 to 9 because we're going every other frame. Because we have to have a frame, uh, a blank frame in the middle. If you don't have a blank frame in the middle, it glitches out and goes in between. It Just take my word, blank frame in the middle. So once we have that, we're going to double click on the frame. Uh, the uh, ground. <clears throat> so we're in the ground uh, symbol. And it should say layer 1 with that. Create a new layer. And then bring layer. Click back on layer 1. Bring it to 120 frames. Right click and click insert keyframe. Then for layer 3, just copy this. Control C V. Hold down control whenever you click V. So there's that. Although, we'll actually delete it. So you, you clicked control C, that copies it. Go to layer, f uh, the new layer, then click control V. Then that should copy it into the new layer. Mine says layer 3 because I had a layer before. Yours should say layer 2. So then now we have this in layer 2. So go to about 60 frames, right click and click insert keyframe then go to 120 right click insert keyframe go back to 60 frames and just like the enemy take this and move it up like that and right click around where it says 30 frames insert keyframe right click where it says around 90 frames insert uh, no not insert keyframe I'm sorry create classic tween create classic tween so now that will be moving now make enemies do the same exact thing so I'm gonna put it well make sure you click out of the ground so you're not in the ground anymore and then put the enemies in I'm gonna add the actions and uh, to the enemies and then I'm gonna make the fourth level and then the final level in my next part